Today we're going to be talking about a batch of rumors that I've actually been, you know, kind of keeping track of over the course of the summer to see what's happening and I really really want to cover them today simply because I want these things to happen. Now, as always with rumors, you need to note they're not necessarily true. They're rumors for a reason, right? What are rumors? There are unsubstantiated claims, right? Things that we can't actually verify. So that's the way you should be treating all rumors. That being said, we get to talk about rumors on three games today that really, really excite me. And before we do that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. That's great. We have some giveaways going on. You can check the pinned comment or the description for details if you would like. But hey, let's get into the rumors. <laughs> So the first one actually deals with Donkey Kong. So look, we've had Donkey Kong rumors dating all the way back to last year for crying out loud. So what the hell are the new rumors now? Well, I want to note today that all of these rumors come from a user named Zippo. Uh, Zippo has sort of a spotty track record. If you're just want to know some background behind it, he's gotten a number of stuff correct and a number of stuff not correct. So that's why I said this is what we call a true rumor. And what's interesting is the things that he talked about over the last couple of months that I haven't really paid attention to are things that I actually want to happen. And this first one's about Donkey Kong. And he said this back on June 21st, 2022, where he's like, I'm on vacation this past weekend. I enjoyed my first Father's Day as a father of a newborn. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't know who Zippo is. So I decided to take a break. I'm back with the scoop. I've gotten word that Donkey Kong's next adventure from the crew at EPD Tokyo has gone gold. They are currently sitting on the game, though I'm not sure for how long it's been finished. So what's interesting is he's essentially saying this rumored Donkey Kong game that came from other sources, not himself, last year is done. And Nintendo's sitting on it. Now, Nintendo does sit on games for a while. Uh, I'll give you one example, one game that we know Nintendo sat on, and that is Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey was done in 2016, and Nintendo sat on it until the end of 2017 because they thought it made better sense to release it at that point rather than at the beginning of Switch's life. They wanted to wait until that holiday period. So, Nintendo does finish games and sit on them. And we know Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp is done as an example, although the reason that's not out yet is obviously massively different compared to just timing. But yeah, I do think that it's possible that Donkey Kong is, you know, still coming in some sort of way here. And I don't know. that This is obviously just a rumor. What we need to remember is there's actually other rumors out there about a Donkey Kong movie being the next movie after Mario. So maybe they want to time the game for that. I don't know. I mean, Donkey Kong has been a franchise Nintendo has had going since before the Nintendo Entertainment System. So yeah, they'll probably do something at some point. I just don't know when. Next up, we get to talk about an IP that is really one of my favorites from Nintendo, and the last entry kind of left a bad taste in people's mouths, and we're talking about Star Fox. So back on July 20th, uh, this is what Zippo had to say about a new Star Fox game. A new Star Fox game is in development. That's the title. Hi, that's quite a loaded title to make a return with, isn't it? I'm back. I needed a mental break from the blog, being a dad and all that, but I've had a recharge, and I'm back with new scoops and articles coming your way. The first one is a doozy. So, there's been talk of rumors have popped up on new revivals of Nintendo properties. I've previously thrown out Golden Sun, and now it's time for another. Pack your bags. We're returning to the Lilat system. A new Star Fox game has been in development for quite a while. It's being made at an outside studio with close, close supervision of Nintendo. I don't know why I got to say close twice, but that's cool. The thing is, I haven't yet been able to track down who is developing it. There's a lot of options here. Bandai Namco, Next Level, Q Games, Koei Tecmo, Ubisoft, and even Shudders, Forever Entertainment. The only one that's been ruled out to me so far is Platinum, which is a good thing, frankly. That's still something I'm looking into. So when I have word on who it is, this will be updated. Now, as for what Nintendo considers this, new game, a reimagining, a reboot, a sequel. Nintendo internally is trying to toe the line 
between a sequel and a reboot. It's unknown to my sources how that aspect will shake out. There's also going to be an emphasis on online multiplayer component of some sort. One last thing, Star Fox is another franchise that will play a part in Nintendo's overall multimedia strategy going forward. An animated project of some sort is in early works at Nintendo's newly acquired studio, Nintendo Pictures, along with a few other properties. I'll have more on that end before too long. As for when this will be announced and released, I got nothing on that as of now. Predicting exactly when Nintendo will announce or release a game is a fool's errand, and I'm not going to even try. I wouldn't expect to hear about this for a while. That's my opinion anyways. Regardless, exciting times are ahead. It's time to rock and roll. So that's a lot of details to digest on Star Fox. Look, I don't know if any of this is true, but assuming that it is, uh, you know, towing the line between a sequel and a reimagining, I, I think that's a, a good way. It's sort of a, a pseudo reboot, but not really like, hey, let's just remake Star Fox 64 again. No, let's actually do something new that maybe could be viewed as a sequel, but is also sort of a, a, a reimagining. I like this like Breath of the Wild, right? Breath of the Wild is a sequel to all the prior Zelda games, but it's so far in the future that it's essentially a reboot of Zelda. And I think that this is maybe what they might be trying to do with Star Fox if this is true. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of animated shorts or something that could be released along with it. We've seen animated stuff in the past from Nintendo, especially especially with Pikmin. So yeah, I, I do think that this is all plausible and Nintendo Pictures has to be working on something. Uh, it might be a while before we see that something, and that could also explain why it might be a while before we see Star Fox. This, to me, sounds like something that would appear on Nintendo's next system, if I had to guess. But uh, that's just total guesswork. For all I know, next year. For all I know, 2024. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, for now, let's get into another game that involves flying, everyone. And that's because Zippo also posted on July 25th about Pit Flies Again. Kid Icarus Uprising is getting a remaster. Sorry to keep you waiting. I told you I had more scoops. This is a big one. Kid Icarus Uprising is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. The gameplay, story, voice acting, excellent soundtrack has remained part of me since I first played it a decade ago, and I've replayed it many, many times since then. I treasure this game dearly. You'll be happy to hear that a full remaster of the game is in development at Bandai Namco. There will be a new, much more accessible control scheme, and the visuals are getting a much-needed boost. There is one snag, however. The game's multiplayer mode will return, but will reportedly be running Bamco's legendary, awful netcode. If you played any of Bamco's games online before, Smash, Fighter Z, Tekken 7, you'll know how disappointing this piece of news is. Here's hoping that aspect changes before release. Regardless, that's yet another beloved, long-requested Nintendo game coming to Switch. I, for one, could not be more excited. This remaster is due for release sometime next year. So, hey, look, he, it's funny because he just said, you know, predicting when Nintendo's going to announce things is a fool's errand, and then he says, hey, look, I don't know when they're going to announce it, but it's coming next year. The Kid Icarus Uprising is a really, really great game that is extremely underrated and underappreciated. I think a new control scheme uh, combined with obviously better visuals and enhancing the game and bringing it to a new audience could work really, really well. Uh, so I, I do want to see this happen, and I really hope that all three of these rumors are true because Donkey Kong, Kid Icarus, and Star Fox, all being games that we could enjoy at some point in the next few years, excites me. Obviously, I, you know, a new Mario game, we're probably getting a new Mario game, right? We're probably going to get another top-down Zelda game or Zelda remaster at some point as well after Breath of the Wild 2. Look, we're going to keep getting some of the bigger IPs that Nintendo consistently supports. Metroid Prime 4. Got to happen at some point, right? Like I, I would be really shocked if Metro Prime Four got canceled. That would just be, that would be very surprising. But this is something that excites me: the idea of bringing back old IPs. I would like to see more rumors pop up for things like I don't know, a new Wave Race. We're getting Wave Race sixty four on Nintendo Switch this Friday, so I'd love to see Wave Race come back with a new game. I would like to see Snowboard Kids come back. I would like to see F Zero. I know there's been some percolations around that from Silex Hunter, uh, but we already talked about that, and, and who knows what's going to happen with that, if anything. So for right now, 
I am Nathaniel Rumpeljantz from Nintendo Prime, and I really want to get your thoughts on these batch of rumors. What are you thinking? Are you excited for them? Do you want these to happen? Do you want them not to happen and wish Nintendo was working on something else? And what old IP from Nintendo do you want to see come back? I think that's a really, really good question to ask because there are a bevy of IPs Nintendo has been ignoring. Maybe it's Chibi Robo. I have no idea. You let me know what IP you're hoping to see from Nintendo in the future. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.